Hi, and welcome to another Net Terrain video tutorial. Net Terrain diagrams can be quite large arrangements of nodes and links, so zooming and panning are common operations. You can zoom in or out using the diagram context menu or the plus and minus sign buttons on the toolset that appears on the lower right corner of any diagram. You can use the keyboard plus and minus buttons as well. With the tool set, you can zoom into a specific percentage level by choosing one of the fixed options on the zoom drop down box. You can also fine tune your zoom level by typing any value. Now there are some quick ways to zoom as well. Using the mouse wheel, or AutoCAD style by selecting a zoom area rectangle with the mouse right button. As you can see, there are almost too many ways to zoom in, but our customers tend to favor the mouse wheel and AutoCAD style zoom, much faster and easier. By pressing the leftmost button on the toolset, the cursor turns into pan mode. After each pan operation on the diagram, the cursor turns back to the regular pointer. However, just as with the zoom, there are easier ways to pan without having to constantly click on the pan button. By using the control shift and left mouse button, or even easier, by pressing the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. Another common operation is to restore the window to 100% zoom level after a zoom and pan operation. The zoom pan toolset and context menus have a button for that, but yet again, we'd like you to learn the much quicker shortcuts. Double click on the mouse wheel or simply press the W key. So, if you want to quickly find an object in a packed diagram, you can do all three operations very quickly and efficiently with the mouse wheel. Zooming, panning, fitting the diagram to 100%. If you don't have a mouse wheel, you can reach a similar level of efficiency using shortcuts. Happy documenting!